If you own a Fire Stick, Fire TV or Fire TV Cube, you need to hear this because Amazon has quietly pushed out new Fire TV updates. And once again, they have turned privacy settings back on without clearly telling you. This is happening right now. It affects both new and existing devices. And if you don't check your settings, your Fire Stick is already sharing more data than you probably realize. Even if you've changed these settings before, that doesn't matter because Fire TV updates regularly reset privacy options and introduce new ones that most people never notice. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what to turn off in 2026 to protect your privacy and clean up your Fire Stick properly. Now, even if you've done this before, and I know many of you have, Amazon updates can reset privacy settings. In fact, whenever I post one of these videos, I can guarantee that someone in the comments will say Amazon has switched these settings back on for them. Now, sometimes it happens on all devices, sometimes only on certain models, which is exactly why it's always worth checking. It's not just that old settings get reverted either. New privacy options are quietly added and Amazon calls all of this product improvement. What it really means is more tracking, more targeted ads, and more of your data being shared with third party apps. So let's lock this down properly. Even if you think everything is already set up correctly, please watch this through and double check your Fire Stick because you never know what's been changed in the background. First things first, go to settings, then my Fire TV. Then about and select check for updates. Even if it says you're up to date, check anyway. Amazon has been pushing multiple updates back to back. All right, once that's done, stay right here in settings and let's go through exactly what needs to be checked and changed. Now go into preferences and then open privacy settings. This is the most important section on your Fire Stick and it's where Amazon quietly re-enables tracking after updates. First, look for interest-based ads. Now this creates an advertising ID linked to how you use your device, what you watch and which apps you open. Turn this off. Once it's disabled, that advertising ID is removed. Next, select Collect App Usage Data. This allows Amazon to track how often you use apps, how long you use them for, and this includes third-party apps. Turn this off. Now move to Device Usage Data. This setting collects personal data from the Fire TV operating system for marketing and product improvement. In simple terms, it profiles your behavior. Turn this off. Now, a quick check before we carry on. When you went into these settings, did you find anything that had been switched back on? If you did, drop a comment and let me know because Amazon doesn't change this on every device and it will be very interesting to see how many are actually affected. Still inside privacy settings, look for cookie consent. And now listen carefully because this is where things get worrying. On some devices, including mine, this option has completely vanished. In January 2025, it was there, and now it's been quietly removed. No warning, no explanation. If your device still shows cookie consent, open it and select decline. Accepting this gives Amazon and third-party advertisers permission to track you using cookies and device identifiers and to share that data across advertising networks. Declining may mean more repetitive ads, but that's a small inconvenience compared to handing over your privacy. Next, check for a newer option called Manage Sharing from Apps. 
This one was quietly added in a recent update and is easy to miss. If this is turned on, supported apps can share your viewing activity, watch lists, rentals and recordings across platforms. You do not need this for normal streaming, so turn it off. From here, press back twice and scroll down to data usage monitoring. Now, unless you have a strict internet data cap, this feature constantly monitors your network usage and serves no real benefit. So turn that one off as well. Now let's clean up your Fire TV home screen. Tap back once to return to preferences and open featured content. Turn off both autoplay video and autoplay audio. This stops loud trailers, sponsored videos and ads from automatically playing when you land on the home screen. Your Fire Stick will immediately feel quieter and more responsive. Next, go back to the main settings menu and select applications. Here you'll see automatic offload. Now, Amazon says this saves space, but in reality, it removes your unused third party apps while keeping Amazon's apps installed. If you don't want your apps disappearing without warning, turn automatic offload off. Now go to My Fire TV and open Developer Options. If ADB debugging is enabled, turn it off unless you actively use it. Now, ADB allows remote access to your Fire Stick and leaving it on can be a security risk, especially if you connect to public Wi-Fi, hotels, rentals or shared networks. Now, this last one isn't about privacy, but it's definitely one to turn off for your own sanity. That constant clicking noise when navigating the menu drives me nuts and I always turn it off on all of my devices. Go to display an audio, open audio and turn off navigation sounds. That annoying click will be gone instantly. If you really want to get the most out of your Fire Stick, I've got a full video breaking down the best display and audio settings for true 4K streaming, including the options most people get wrong. I'll link it in the description below, or you can click the card on screen right now and watch it next. Amazon will continue doing this. Every update, every year, every device. They re-enable tracking, add new sharing options, and rely on people never checking. If you own a Fire Stick in 2026, these settings are no longer optional. They're essential. If this video helped you, hit subscribe, turn on notifications, and share this with anyone using a Fire Stick. And if you want to fully protect your activity, especially on shared networks or third-party apps, you should be using a VPN. The one I use is linked below. If you want direct help with your Fire Stick, access to content I can't post publicly, or priority replies, check out my channel memberships. Members get into my private chat group where I answer questions personally. Just tap join below. Make sure you subscribe for more streaming tips and device guides, give me a follow over on X and TikTok, and check out the Tandas Tech YouTube channel for more streaming content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.